Conor McGregor once said, This not only exemplifies his combative nature, but also sets the tone for his remarkable journey in the world of mixed martial arts. As one of the most famous UFC fighters, McGregor has not only captivated audiences with his undeniable skill and charisma, but has also been a magnet for controversy, making him one of the most polarizing figures in the sport. This narrative delves into the stories of people who struck a nerve with Connor and some are quite unexpected. So, without further ado, let's get to the first of Connor's victims in the list. Machine Gun Kelly. The encounter between Connor McGregor and Machine Gun Kelly at the 2021 MTV Video Music Awards quickly became a hot topic, showcasing McGregor's controversial interactions outside the octagon. The incident reportedly began over a denied photo op request leading to a heated confrontation on the red carpet. McGregor, known for his fiery temperament, allegedly attempted to engage physically with MK, leading to a scuffle that was promptly broken up by security. This altercation not only grabbed headlines, but also highlighted McGregor's tendency to become involved in disputes beyond his fighting career. While the exact details of the confrontation remain somewhat murky, with differing accounts of the events that led to the clash, the incident at the MTV VMRs added, a celebrity dimension to McGregor's list of public controversies. The public's reaction was mixed, with some expressing disappointment over McGregor's behavior, while others were captivated by the clash between two high-profile personalities. Dustin Poirier the trilogy bout between Conor McGregor and Dustin Poirier at UFC 264 ended dramatically, marking another intense chapter in their rivalry. It was not over, even as he was carried out on a stretcher. Poirier claimed victory via doctor's stoppage, suggesting he felt McGregor's leg crack early on. The event, filled with celebrity onlookers, was a spectacle of high anticipation and mixed reactions. UFC President Dana White hinted at a potential fourth fight, given the unresolved nature of their contest. This fight underscored the fierce competitiveness and ongoing tension between McGregor and Poirier, with McGregor's threats and insults against Poirier and his family leading up to the fight being labelled as karma by Poirier post-victory. The bout at UFC 264, although ending in unforeseen circumstances, promises that the rivalry between these two fighters is far from concluded. DJ Francesco Facchinetti. In October 2021, Conor McGregor found himself in a new controversy, this time involving Italian DJ Francesco Facchinetti. After a night out in Rome, where both men had been partying together, Facchinetti accused McGregor of attacking him unprovoked, resulting in a broken nose. The altercation reportedly took a violent turn without any clear instigation, leading Facchinetti to press charges against the UFC star. This incident added another layer to McGregor's controversial offering behavior, sparking discussions and debates within the media and public forums. As the case was under investigation, it underscored McGregor's propensity for finding himself in contentious situations, further complicating his public image beyond his fighting career. Wait, an old man? Yup, you heard it. In a turn of events that seemed to stray far from the octagon, McGregor found himself embroiled in controversy within the confines of a Dublin pub. Connor had reportedly bought the pub in which he was seen on video, punching an older man at the bar. The incident, which unfolded in August 2019, saw McGregor punch the older man, who had declined a shot of his whiskey brand. This moment of aggression led to McGregor pleading guilty to assault, ultimately resulting in a fine. It was a public display of the fighter's struggle to control his impulses, even outside the competitive arena. Nate Diaz. The rivalry between Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz is one of the most memorable in UFC inference. The tension escalated when McGregor, known for his punctuality issues, arrived late inciting a heated exchange of words and objects between the two camps. Diaz, provoked by McGregor's tardiness, initiated a chaotic scene by throwing a water bottle, to which McGregor responded by hurling monster energy cans. 
This pre-fight melee set the stage for their highly anticipated rematch, showcasing the intensity of their rivalry. The UFC 202 incident not only fueled the fighters' competitive spirits, but also captivated the MMA community, leading to widespread media coverage and public intrigue. Despite the chaotic build-up, their bout delivered on the hype, further cementing the McGregor-Diaz rivalry as one of the sport's most compelling narratives. This confrontation, filled with raw emotion and unpredictability, is embodying the passion and MMA. Jeremy Stevens. Who the f is that guy? The conflict between Conor McGregor and Jeremy Stevens was highlighted during a UFC press conference when Stevens tried to assert himself as the hardest hitter McGregor would face. This incident showcased McGregor's and Stevens and reinforcing McGregor's psychological edge and media savvy. The exchange became a memorable moment, illustrating McGregor's sharp wit and the psychological aspect of combat sports. Jose Aldo. The conflict between Conor McGregor and Jose Aldo, leading up to their UFC 194 bout, was defined by McGregor's psychological tactics. McGregor's relentless verbal jabs at press events and on social media were aimed to unsettle Aldo, a strategy that culminated in a quick victory for McGregor, the world! Oh! knocking out Aldo in just 13 seconds. This outcome not only solidified McGregor's status in MMA, but also showcased the media were captivated by McGregor's confidence and charisma, further elevating his profile in the fight world. Conor McGregor's ascent in MMA transformed him into a pivotal figure, reshaping the sports landscape and setting new benchmarks in pay-per-view draws. His journey, characterized by both spectacular victories and notable controversies, showcases the dual nature of his legacy. McGregor's antics outside the octagon, including legal troubles and public confrontations, have at times overshadowed his achievements within it. The bus attack incident prior to UFC 223, aimed at Khabib Nurmagomedov, resulted in injuries, legal repercussions, and leveraged as a promotional tool for their ensuing bout at UFC 229. Despite the controversies, McGregor's impact on MMA is profound, attracting unprecedented attention to the sport. His approach, blending exceptional combat skills with a knack for self-promotion, drew both admiration and criticism. Comparatively, McGregor's trajectory mirrors that of figures like Mike Tyson, blending undeniable talent with personal volatility. His legacy, complex and multifaceted, remains a subject of debate, reflecting the thin line between fame and infamy in the world of sports. As MMA evolves, McGregor's influence, marked by his contribution to the sport's popularity and the controversies that accompanied his rise, will continue to be a point of discussion, embodying the delicate balance between athletic brilliance and the challenges of maintaining a public persona. Conor McGregor's career trajectory showcases a blend of remarkable achievements and notably controversies. His reason to prominence in MMA was not just about his victories inside the octagon, but also his confrontations outside it. This pattern of conflict, ranging from intense rivalries with other fighters to legal and public altercations, has significantly shaped his public persona and the discourse around his legacy. So, now you know what happens when you mess with Connor's temper, better stay away from that. Thank you all for watching this far and stay tuned for the next video.